I should say that one of the main reasons, if not the, the main reason, why the Italian control community is so consistent these days is that when we were substantially younger, in the good old times, as it was mentioned before, essentially in the 80s and early 90s, we, were to, we met together here in Como under the sponsorship, I would say, the patronage of, of Sergio. And he was the organizer of this excellent series of meetings that took place in these years. In these meetings, at that, uh, this, 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 these meetings were held at times in which travel funds were not so abundant, especially in Italy. And so many of us had the opportunity to get in touch with uh, eminent personalities, outstanding personalities from abroad. <clears throat> and at that time, a cohesive spirit of community really was, was built in, in Italian controlled society, which is still uh, vivid today. And I vividly remember, remind, for instance, there were many, many names, uh, big names were mentioned before. My personal experience, I remember that at a meeting what, that was held in the, at the end of the 1980s, uh, Bruce Francis was here, and he, he had just completed this booklet, this booklet on uh, H infinity control, and we were discussing about the advantages of the frequency domain approach, the state space approach. He was not very happy about the state space approach of the H infinity, even though he was an author of the a co-author of this famous for for uh, author paper on H infinity control. And Paolo, in its opening, has illustrated to all of us in detail uh, uh, how uh, great was Sergio in organizing this. Well, I would like to stress, though, some scientific uh, achievement of, of uh, Sergio, which should be uh, stressed today. And these are really contribution to system science. And they span from the work on periodic linear system, I think that the, his work on analysis and design of periodic linear system is really uh, unsurpassed. And uh, we know his work on Riccati equation, and uh, this, the book that he had with uh, Ian Willems is still, I think, it is the most stand, is a standard reference in the field. When I want to know something about Riccati equation, I open this book, which is in my library, of course. And uh, Sergio was a great mentor. This was mentioned before. We saw the picture of some of his students that have established their own academic reputation. And this is something that Sergio should be proud. But he also was a great teacher. At the Polytechnic of Milano, he developed an innovative way to teach system identification. And this format eventually became a standard reference for the Italian professor that want to teach uh, system identification. So this was really one of other great achievements of Sergio. And of course, one of Sergio's top achievements has been the organization of the IFA Congress in Italy in uh, 2011. And I'm glad to see here the majority of all IFAC past presidents. And this is indeed a best acknowledgement of how the IFA community has <coughs> appreciated Sergio's outstanding work. When it was decided to bid for a Congress in Milano, we all in the Italian com control community felt very relieved. We knew that having a Congress in the hands of Sergio was a guarantee of a great success, as it actually was. It, it is really impressive to see how Sergio is efficient in this kind of work. He is able to take care of everything, from small details to great things. And I was impressed. Uh, I, I, I'm, essentially, I was a witness. I, I did nothing for the organization of the Congress. I was just <laughs> watching what Sergio was doing and every once in a while giving him advice. And he was able to take care of everything. From negotiating with the uh, management of the Catholic University for a flawless organization of the Congress, and this was a great thing. And for instance, uh, arranging with the famous Italian design firms for the announcement and for the booklets, for the manifesto, now became a standard thing, the manifesto of the Congress. So it introduces something that in the IFAC tradition that have become standard. But also to minor things. Let me quote 
with the permission of Serge, this anecdote that I learned from, from uh, Pon. Uh, two years before the Congress in Seoul, which was probably 2007, 2006, he took a trip to Seoul to see how the organization was taking place because he wanted to see what were the main things to, 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 that needed to, to be seen. He contacted the Italian ambassadors because he wanted to, have the, to be backed by the, uh, Italian, the Italian authorities in this case. And, but he, so he checked everything, and I learned from Wok Won that he was even checking the fabric by means of which the new standard of, uh, uh, of IFAC, uh, the past, uh, banners of IFAC were built. So he was checking the fabric because he wanted to do something better, which he did eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, so thank you. Thank you, Sergio, for all of this. Thank you for all you have done for the Italian control community. Thank you for all you have done for IFAC in the nation, in the international uh, setting. And I would like to wish you more, many, many more years of outstanding su successes like this. Thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs>